Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the International Speedway Boulevard, U.S. 92 Corridor Improvements Public Meeting. During the meeting, we will present information on the department's plans to improve safety and enhance operations through this project. We encourage your feedback, and during the presentation, we will provide multiple ways you can submit your questions and comments to us about this project. All comments and questions will be responded to after the meeting and will become part of the public meeting record. This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com slash project slash 4379-42-1. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943. 5367 or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753 or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state.fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. This corridor improvements project is on International Speedway Boulevard, US 92, from the Halifax River Bridge to State Road A1A. Through the project limits, International Speedway Boulevard is a principal arterial urban roadway and serves as a hurricane evacuation route. The purpose of the project is to enhance safety and improve operations for drivers, pedestrians, and bicyclists. Following a public hearing in October 2020, FDOT revised the plans to address community concerns. The proposed improvements along International Speedway Boulevard begin at the Halifax River Bridge. A raised median and a 10-foot sidewalk on the south side of the roadway will be provided to Halifax Avenue. The proposed improvements include widening International Speedway Boulevard to provide wider travel lanes and a raised median. Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA-compliant sidewalks and curb ramps will be incorporated throughout the corridor. Additionally, signals will be reconstructed at Halifax Avenue, Peninsula Drive, State Road 441, and Grandview Avenue. The proposed improvements will include a signal with new right turn lanes constructed on both eastbound International Speedway Boulevard and southbound State Road A1A. Enhanced crosswalks will be provided at Halifax Avenue and Grandview Avenue to improve pedestrian safety. The proposed improvements for International Speedway Boulevard include 10-foot wide and 11-foot wide travel lanes in each direction. A 15-and-a-half-foot raised median provides areas for landscaping. Pedestrian facilities will be provided on each side of the roadway with a 10-foot sidewalk on the south side and a 6-foot sidewalk on the north side of International Speedway Boulevard. Landscaping elements will be installed as part of a different project following the completion of the improvements to International Speedway Boulevard. We are currently in the design phase of the project schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed by late 2022. Right-of-way acquisition began in 2021 and is ongoing through 2022. Construction is funded and expected to start in spring of 2023. We encourage your input and feedback about this project, and there are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by Saturday, April 9, 2022, 10 days after the public meeting, 
will become part of the project's public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the meeting. To submit comments in person, you may speak to our project staff on the floor or complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. If you are participating online, you may submit written questions or comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments may also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 437942-1. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at kathleen.enot at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Mail Station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5149 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about the project, go to www.cflroads.com, type the project number 437942-1 in the search box at the top right and click Go. Then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the website now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Saturday, April 9, 2022. Contact information, a recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 437942-1. And remember, safety is everyone's responsibility. Have a good evening.